edition. I'm Austin Norris Paul reporting for State News. Governor Eric Holcomb announced the Back on Track Indiana plan to safely open the economy and remain vigilant about protecting Hoosiers' health and well-being. This reopening process will happen in five stages, but will look different for Cass, Marion, and Lake County. The second stage, which began on May 4th, will allow social gatherings up to 25 people as long as there's social distancing. It will also allow retail and commercial businesses to operate at 50% capacity with indoor common areas at 25% capacity. At this stage, everyone is still encouraged to wear a face mask. Now, the third stage, which will take place on May 24th, allows fitness centers, playgrounds, and movie theaters to open at half capacity. It also allows for retailers, stores, and malls to open up to 75% capacity and will allow for social gatherings up to 100 people. In the fourth stage, which will begin on June 14th, there can be social gatherings up to 250 people. Retail stores can open up to full capacity and dining room services will be available up to 75% capacity. Sports venues and amusement parks will also be open at 50% capacity. And in the fifth and final stage, which takes place on June 4th, the state will begin to open sports venues and other large facilities. Fairs and festivals will be allowed to take place, retail and restaurants will be able to function at full capacity, and, restrict and restrictions will be lifted at amusement and water parks. Now, as the restrictions begin to be lifted, portions of the state may need to pause on moving forward if there is a sudden spike in COVID-19 cases. I'm Austin Ars Paul reporting for State News, reminding you to stay safe and stay sa and stay healthy. Thanks for watching Eastwood. Hey City Eagles, it's Grace, and today I'll be bringing you your news on health workers. So, did you know that if you save a life, you're a hero, but if you save a hundred lives, you're a nurse? Well, nurses all around the world have been getting feedback of how they've been doing and handling the coronavirus. I personally think they've been doing a tremendous job. So thank you to all the nurses and doctors out there that have been helping us get through this pandemic. I'm sorry. My name is Jayla Jordan, and this is my brother Jackson. And we will be talking about how COVID-19 has affected your life, his life. How has COVID-19 affected your life, Jackson? COVID-19 has affected my life because I want to go to school, but I can't, and I miss my friends, and I can't go to Disney World this year. So, do you like e-learning? I don't like e-learning because it's harder to learn, and I miss my classmates and my teacher. What do you miss most about life before the COVID-19 stay-at-home order? Um, I miss the going outside and playing with other people, my friends, and going to school. So, do you are you ready for life to go back to the way it was? Yes, I am, Jayla. That's all for today, Eastwood. Have a great day. And stay safe. Eastwood Eagles, my name is Kelly Williams here and I'm here with a new movie review. My new movie that I want to share with you is called Onward. It's about teenage elf brothers named Ian and Barley on a magical quest to spend one day with their father. Ian is the main character of the movie. He hasn't got he didn't get to see his father after he was born, sadly he passed away. Like any good journey, their journey is filled with gifted math, impossible obstacles, and un and magical unimaginable discoveries but when dear mom find out her sons are missing she teams up with the legendary manticore to bring her beloved boys back home so this i hope you guys watch this movie and enjoy happy birthday mr adult man oh mom black and gross what was dad like his beard was scratchy. He had a goofy laugh. I wish I'd met him. I have something for you from your dad. It's a wizard staff. I wrote this spell so I could see for myself who my boys grew up to be. This spell brings him back. Back like back to life? He wanted to meet you more than anything. Holy tooth of Zadar! How did you- I don't know! It just started! Dad, you are in your house. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. We've only got 24 hours to bring back the rest of Dad. We're going on a quest. 
all quests start with the Manticore, the fearless adventurer. You mean Cory? She's over there. Quick, somebody help me. These Griffin Nuggets were supposed to go out minutes ago. That's the Manticore? You guys are in trouble big time. Get in the vehicle. I'm escorting you home. I'm giving you to the count of three. Uh, okay. Wait, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm looking for my sons. Oh, they went on a quest. But don't worry. I told them about the map. I told them about the gym. I told them about the curse. <gasps> I forgot to tell them about the curse. The what? <gasps> Your boys are in grave danger. Hold on. <laughs> How are your boys doing a crisis? Oh, no. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Not great. <laughs> I can't do it. We're not going to see you, Dad. You can do this. I believe in you. My gut knows where to go, don't you, boy? Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm on my way, boys. Just stay out of trouble. Thank you, news crew. And once again, it is time to celebrate the students and staff birthdays. Here are the birthdays for this week. My name is Coach and I'm here with the cooking session. Today, uh, I have already rinsed off the chicken and put a little bit of seasoning on it because just of the timing. So that's why I have that. But for your chicken, you will be, I put seasoning on it. I'm going to put black pepper on it. And I have a bowl of salt. And so when you do your salt, you just want to take some and lightly put it all around. And I'm trying to. You just put all your salt lightly around so then this thing won't be so dry. How many of us? What did you say? Okay. And then you want to put your black pepper after you put a couple of salt on it. And after you do that, you want to put your black on it. And it will go right in the oven. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm doing the movie review. And the movie I'm reviewing today is the Impractical Jokers movie. Now, the world's greatest jokers are coming to the big screen. You're the Impractical Jokers. Yeah. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm having this huge yeah. party. I'll see you in Miami? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She sent three tickets. We'll settle this. The four of us will compete in hidden camera challenges on the way down to Miami, and the loser doesn't go to the party. Ah! I have been waiting for so long. You show me what you have in the trunk. You don't work for the fuzz, do you? <laughs> I'm just his number one fan. I need a little bit more crazy eyes. <laughs> Four jokers. Three tickets. Ten challenges. One. Did 
you think this through? Not really. Not really. See Impractical Jokers the movie. Rated PG-13. I would say it's very funny and entertaining, so I recommend watching it. Uh, out of five stars, I would give it a four out of five stars. And so you should go and watch the Impractical Jokers movie. On to the next part of the news. In sports news, Phillip Rivers is the new Indianapolis Colts quarterback for the 2020 football season. Go Colts! I'm Lyndon Miller from VMS TV, and this is what quarantine is like in SoCal. Since quarantine has been put in place, all regular activities and sports have been canceled, including school. Because of this, I've been playing sports in my backyard with my brother to stay fit. I've also found a new passion, it's skateboarding. Quarantine has completely shut down our outdoor culture and lifestyle. And it's even taken effect on some of our local artwork. But fortunately, in the last week, beaches have started opening up in nearby cities. I'm Lyndon Miller from VMS TV, and this is what quarantine is like in SoCal. Since quarantine has been put in place, all regular activities and sports have been canceled, including school. Because of this, I've been playing sports in my backyard with my brother to stay fit. I've also found a new passion, it's skateboarding. <laughs> Quarantine has completely shut down our outdoor culture and lifestyle. And it's even taken effect on some of our local artwork. But fortunately, in the last week, beaches have started opening up in nearby cities. That's all Eastwood. Remember, stay safe and stay at home. Thanks for watching.